strawberry stands as a little speck of wannabe sophistication in the mountains of the Wild West. It's a tourist town with lovely architecture, aggressive residents, but we're not going to talk about that, and a mayor with very lofty ideals. But on top of that, just like anywhere else in the West, there's also crime, which makes it a good place for bounty hunters like us to swing by and check see if they have any wanted posters up. Sure enough, they had one up until an update back in November of 2019 around the PC release of Red Dead Redemption 2 when a second one appeared. Of course, in order to get this bounty, you need to do the first one first. But this newer bounty is actually one of the Laramie boys. The Laramie gang are a group of paid thugs, usually hired by rich families looking to buy more land, typically coercing landowners if they do not agree to sell. As seen in 1907, hired by a mysterious Mr. Abel, who hired the Laramie boys to coerce David Geddes into selling Pronghorn Ranch to him, an endeavour which ultimately failed, resulting in John Marston shooting most of the Laramie boys in the face. Anyway, back to the bounty. The wanted poster reads as follows. Well, well. Bart Kavanagh of Laramie is wanted dead or alive. Bart Kavanagh has been declared an outlaw in the province of Strawberry. It has been definitely ascertained that Kavanagh is guilty of multiple accounts of assault, intimidation, and the wanton destruction of property. Last seen near Gnarly Rock. Let's hear what Sheriff Farley has to say about this. Bart Kavanagh. He's one of them boys down from Laramie. They say they businessmen chasing up land deals. But I know higher guns when I see him. Laramie? I'm acquainted with some of those fellas. Yeah, Mayor's got a strange tolerance, but this one's gone too far. He's up north of here, the other side of the mountain. Tell me about this bounty. What's his charge? Intimidation, the destruction of property, violent assault. But they're all things we turn a blind eye to now if you're from those parts, or so I'm instructed. Okay. Why are we after this fella then? Poor Kavanaugh got fresh with the wrong girl. Cattleman's daughter. He's what you'd call an example to the rest. Indeed. I guess I know my job then. However you can get him is how we'll take him. There's some very curious dialogue in there. For example, Mayer's got a strange tolerance, and that the sheriff is typically instructed to turn a blind eye to the Laramie boys. Either the town doesn't have enough time to chase after thugs, and with the mayor constantly spouting that crime is down, that's not likely, or the mayor himself does not want anyone to get too close to the Laramie gang for whatever reason. Curious. Anyway, we have a rough location to look for our pal Bart, so why don't we get cracking? It's a short ride, but the roads are quite narrow and windy at points, so definitely don't go into cinematic mode. <laughs> We just crashed, you don't have to shoot me, Jesus Christ. No, I'm not going to release you, you saggy piece of shit. On with the show, we're in bear country, so definitely be careful. Bears are definitely going to be the most dangerous thing we're encountering today. That is if we encountered them, which we won't, because we're clever. When you arrive in the general area where Bart Kavanagh is supposed to be, you will find a camp with several drunk people at it. Of course, you'll have to kill all these guys in order to apprehend Bart Kavanagh. And there you go, we've got him. Release me, you son of a bitch! He's a hell of a nice guy, you'd never know it. Right, let's take him back to town. Don't know who you think I am, but I ain't done nothing! He seems to protest his innocence. Will that tune change? Let's see. What kind of coward ambushes a fella in his sleep? Thanks for making it so easy for me. Wish they was all as dumb as you. Anything happens to me, you're a dead man. Ain't you heard of the Laramies? Oh yeah, we've met. <sighs> They'll get me out, and when they do, we're real good at finding people. I really couldn't feel less intimidated by you, Bart. Ah, oh, my stomach's turned something rotten. Can you take it easy? Nope. I really don't feel good. And I really couldn't care less. Uh, what were you fellas drinking anyway? Some hillbilly rot gut. It was real fun. Till it wasn't. These ain't even my clothes. Last thing I remember, we caught a rat in a boot, and we're all pissing in it. <laughs> well, at least you can go to the gallows knowing you've led a full life, Bart. Oh, God, no. This boot's wet. It's coming back to me now. Sock full of piss. We're staying my life. And you saved the worst for last. 
You're real lucky I was indisposed. Yeah. I can only imagine you at your sharpest. Now we've humoured his stupid ramblings, let's turn him in. Come on, don't do this. Let's work something out. Someone's here to see you, Sheriff. Bart Cavanaugh, put him down in one of the cells. You know who I am, Sheriff? You know who's protecting me? I hope you're sweating, because you're going to feel it for this. It's your boss who got you brought in, you dumb bollock. Now shut up. It's your boss that got you brought in. Does that mean the boss asked for him to be arrested? Hence why he's the Laramie boy with the bounty on his head? Considering the context of that exchange, I would assume that that's what the sheriff means. Right, let's get this guy all cozy in his cell. This is the worst mistake you ever made. Nope, the worst mistake would be looking back. Right, now we've got a little bit more honour in our boots, it's time to go grip our reward. Money's there. I'm gonna take some comfort in seeing at least one of them Laramie boys meet justice. Take it if it helps you sleep. Obliged. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. We are a tourist town, after all. So the mayor thinks that bounty hunters helping to keep the streets clean is somehow a bad look. But here he is, still on a porch, spouting blatant propaganda. Welcome to Strawberry, my friends. And to those that live here, stay here. We're a fine town for fine people. An oasis of culture and civilization in the West. American ingenuity. European sophistication, fine architecture, and above all, good manners. All here in West Elizabeth. <laughs> all we ask is you give us a chance. A chance to make you happy. A chance to make you feel like this is your home. Since I've been elected mayor, I have reduced the criminal element significantly, but more than that, I have raised the cultural element. I know we have transformed Strawberry into a veritable Versailles of the West, a Venice in the mountains, Manhattan without the pollution. Oh look, he slipped, fell and died. However will I cope with having witnessed such a tragedy? Also, why on earth is he still reading an 1899 issue of the new Hanover Gazette in 1907? On the mayor's body there is a letter from his sister, but it does not appear to be relevant to this video. Pause if you want to read it, but I don't particularly want to bloat the content any more than I already have. What's really curious is, the sheriff talks about how the mayor's got a strange tolerance for the Laramie gang, and that he's instructed the sheriff to turn a blind eye to this specific gang, but at the same time it's the Laramie boss who got one of them arrested for supposedly going too far, and so the Laramie boss has sway over the mayor's tolerance, making this specific member of the gang an example to the rest. It's important to remember that though Mr. Abel is a client of the Laramie gang, he is not their boss. He's just a rich man who hires them to coerce people into selling him land, something that would yield quite a bit of income for the gang. However, though it's not explicitly stated who the boss of the Laramie gang is, I do believe I know the answer. None other than Mayor Nicholas Timmins himself. Or at least he was, he's pretty dead now. And even if that turns out to not be correct, the mayor of Strawberry's ambitions have no doubt left him very corrupt. And it's most likely that he has some form of association with the Laramie gang as is, hence the strange tolerance. Part of me reckons he is the boss. Hell Come fire. back to Who's this job. You? No, just seeing if you're still alive. Yeah, well, your days are number two. Thanks for helping us uncork this bottle, Mr. Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs>